Hello there everybody, Kubrick here and welcome to episode 7 of the False Emperor building series. And we're getting there guys, only a couple of things left to do and the mock will be complete. This week we got a lot of progress done but not much new things to be honest, so the episode is going to be a bit different than usual. Ok, we have a few new elements done but mostly it's just building things we already had prototypes for. But either way, there will be some cool stuff to show and to talk about, so sit back and relax while I'll take you through the current progress I made. Oh, and as usual, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you are new here. The last episode I made was a hit in terms of views, so I'd like to thank you all for that, but we cannot stop here. Let's make everyone see this build because the finale is just around the corner and the more LEGO fans see it the better. But now with all that said, let's see what progress I was able to make and then of course I will show you how the whole build is looking at the moment. And let's of course start with the floor because it's the first thing that catches the eye. And man it looks good. Unfortunately, still not the whole thing done in terms of covering it with hexagon tiles because I've simply ran out of the parts I need. I had to order parts for 72 more of those tiles, but even without those I got a fair share of the floor done and most importantly I've made all the supports for holding the whole thing. This was a really time consuming process because I had to cut all of the bolden tubes to exact length but also work a bit on the support structure because I had a few bigger gaps between the floor tiles. But now the spacing is almost perfect and the floor even connects very smoothly with the second segment so it's all looking like it's supposed to. The worst thing here was that I had to rebuild this side of the second section completely because there would be a half tile skip between the both sides after connecting the third section but I managed to make it quite quickly and could move on with the rest. And here I started with the transition from stairs to floor simply filling in the space with some plates and tiles placed sideways and then I made those little elements here. I think for such a scale I did a pretty decent job in translating these pylons or whatever they are from the game to bricks. Now going back to the floor it was a bit tricky because I had to make a few gaps in the pattern so I would fit the statue supports, the computer terminals and of course the base for the throne, but I think it came out great. Especially when I put those elements in, so let's first take a look at the new computer terminals. And I gotta say that this interpretation is what I was aiming for. Of course it differs a bit from the game, but I think I can live with that. I just needed to order a couple of more of those printed 1x2 slopes because I used up all the ones I had, so only one terminal is fully completed. And to connect it firmly to the floor, I just used this panel sticking out from below the supports. It has some headlight bricks below so the height is good and it cleverly goes between the flex tubes without touching them. And with that done, I could move on to the statue supports and the statues themselves. I've replaced the miscolored parts I had the last time and could move on to making the second one. With that, the task was easy because I already had prototypes for those, so it was just a matter of putting the parts together like the previous one. And here I decided to try out something new and record how I put that together so that you can see how it is constructed step by step. So just sit back and enjoy this little time lapse I made.
the support down and the lights connected, I could finally close the support firmly and now the time came for the second statue, so now let's check out how this element was constructed. You might have noticed a few minor changes to the statue since the previous episode and now it looks even better. And I also finished up the lower part of the hood and covered the back so it would look more complete when looking from the sides. And now the final version of the statue is looking really good in my opinion. My favorite part is the hood and the face. These grey windscreen pieces I got in the last hole really get the job done. And yeah, with both of the statues standing here proudly, the only part that is now left to do is the throne, make a couple of crates, put the figures on the mock and we are done guys! The throne will be a hard task to do for sure, 
but I hope I will manage to finish up quickly because I am so eager to see the full thing completed already. It's already taking way longer than I expected, but I think the final look should be rewarding enough. As for the throne, I made a couple of prototypes and I think I'm on the right path to have a solid and accurate looking build. Just of course need a couple of more parts, but those are already on the way along with the ones for the floor and the printed slopes for the terminals. I am really happy of how it's starting to look and can't wait to have it complete. But what are your thoughts on today's progress and the overall look of the mock so far? Do you like what you see or would you change something? Make sure to let me know in the comment section below and leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode. I will see you all in the next and the long awaited final episode of this series and until then guys, stay safe and keep it bricking.